The sundial belonged to Peter I. Two types of sundial designed for St. Petersburg latitude, with round scale and gnomon, oriented towards celestial pole and B, with elliptical hour scale and vertical gnomon, sliding along scale of declinations. Before the invention of clocks and watches, sundials were used to tell time. In fact, sundials were used in Egypt more than 3,500 years ago. They consisted of a simple stick pushed into the ground which cast a shadow onto a dial. To mark the passing of the hours, sundial faces were divided into equal parts. The earliest surviving sundial with hour markings date back 1,500 years before the present era. Some of these sundials used tall stone obelisk to serve as a center stick, or gnomon. Still, there was no standard number of markings, so the length of an hour was not the same on every sundial. As sundials became more common, the gnomon became shorter and eventually pointed to the north, rather than straight up. When the length of a day was officially standardized at 12 hours, sundial faces were divided into 12 equal parts. These 12 parts marked the hours from sunrise to sunset. This sundial is a typical example. It is made to sit flat and has a gnomon that, when properly installed, points to what astronomers call the North Celestial Pole the point in the sky directly above the Earth's North Pole. 